without a doubt, C is the most foundational and influential programming language in the history of the world. Here are three tools that I'm not sure if you know that are written in C. Nginx, the web server used in like millions upon millions of Kate's clusters. The Postgres database, my favorite database is written in C. And finally, Git. This is not a surprise because it's another project written by Linus Torvalds. And yes, obviously, the Linux kernel is mostly written in C. So you can both respect something, admire something, but also see its flaws. And that's my case with C. It's a very old language. There have been many revisions to make it better, but there are some core flaws that are pretty much impossible to get rid of. Today, we'll go over my top five. I hope you see this video for what it is. I'm showing you examples. I'm documenting my findings. Let me know in the comments if I got it wrong or right. Anyways, let's get started. Obviously, as we progress on the list, the box will get more nuanced and harder to spot. So stick around. All right, folks, let's start with the low hanging fruit here. Manual memory management is a pain in the ass. I'm going to show you two scenarios. Scenario number one, it's very easy for you to identify that there's a missing free statement. That's very clear. We all see it. Yeah, that, that's awesome. But how about when you have a much more complex control flow? And so you have like a switch statement. You are responsible for making sure that despite the branch that your code takes, you always end up freeing the resources. That's when it really gets tricky. How about this puppy here? Do you see where the problem is? You're allowed to return a reference to memory that you do not own. This is the definition of a dangling pointer. Why? Why the compiler allows you to do this? It knows what you're doing because it shows you a warning. What's the, the valid use case for doing something like this? Another very annoying thing about C is that you have all these legacy functions written in the 70s that are pretty unsafe. An example of that is string copy, str, cpy. So this function does not do any bound checking, which means that this, if the source string is longer than the, than the destination string, string copy will continue to copy data into the memory beyond the buffer leading to buffer overflows and potentially dangerous security vulnerabilities. Of course, we know that there are safe versions of these functions. So string and copy, where you specify the size that you want to, to copy from source into destination. But like why keeping that on safe function and keeping it around? I just tried to do a C program today for this video and it compiles just fine. There's not even a warning. A corollary to this idea is the lack of bounds checking in general. So you can really shoot yourself on the foot when you are, especially when you're working with dynamic arrays, or you try to access that array out of bounds using a pointer and the compiler won't tell you anything. I do have to acknowledge that for static arrays with my compiler, which I think it's GCC 17 or something, I do get warnings. So kudos for that. <laughs> Thank God. But for dynamic dynamically allocated arrays, you get nothing. You're on your own, man. Guys, I'm showing the receipts here. Let me know what you think in the comments. The next thing that really grinds my gears is not exactly the language, but the tooling around the language and the mindset. Dependency management for modern languages is pretty much a solved problems. So we see that NPM really is like the golden standard. And then you have NPM clones like Cargo and so, so many other tools. It really grinds my gears that if you're a C developer, you are expected to use shared libraries installed in the system. It's that's extremely annoying because we all know what it means to download a new C program and you try to compile it. And it turns out that you don't have the right uh, library installed in your system. And you need to go through like apt get updates to get the right version or compile from source and all that craziness. Of course, there are tools out there that help with this. The, OG tool for that will be CMake. So you can create CMake scripts to help with this and to create like a build process. I will recommend something like Basil. So Basil is much more, much more modern. We use that at Cruise House Domation and we were pretty successful. To me, it's pretty crazy that after 50 years, C has not solved the problem of null pointer dereferencing. I cannot literally think about the simplest, a simplest thing that I want to have checked, but my pointers is just insane that C is this old, I, they, they just never solved it. You, today, you can get the latest C programming language. Try to dereference an old pointer and use it and you'll see the program sec fault. My recommendation is that if you're a C loyalist and you hate Go, you hate Rust because you know, they are new, all these kids. Well, at least learn C++, you'll benefit by, you know, by having optionals, by having smart pointers and tools that 
uh, overall help you to not shoot yourself on the foot. And if you think I'm kidding, look at the comments on this video. Like you can see how the hate just oozes through their pores. So anyways, 